Thanks for staying with us. I'm Jenny Grow, and it's time for our weekly Adopt-A-Pet segment. With us today, we have Dr. Leonard Fox from the Animal Hospital of Westport St. Lucie and Rita Hart from the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. And Rita has brought with us a handsome gentleman. Who is this? Hi, Jenny. Thanks for having us on again. Sure. This is Tiger, and uh, despite the pink leash, it is a male dog. Mm -hmm. He is still a puppy, only three months old, okay. and he has the most beautiful face and coloring, a, the, a brindle coat. Mm -hmm. He came into us um, not in good shape. He, uh, As thin as he is now, he was even skinnier oh, than wow. his ribs were sticking out when he first came to us. So he's getting some good meals and starting to put on some weight, and uh, he is ready for his forever home. Oh, great. Great. And if anybody would like to either see him or come take a visit, how do they do that? Okay. We recommend that they come up to the shelter located at 100 Savannah Road in Fort Pierce, right okay. off the of US-1, okay. and right uh, behind the Heathcote Botanical Gardens, if anybody knows where that is. Okay. And uh, come up and take a look at him in person. It, it doesn't do much good for them, people to call because by the time they get up to see us, then he may be he adopted be gone, by yeah. someone else. So okay. I would recommend people just come up and see him in person if they have another dog uh, in their home, we recommend they bring that dog with them because they will need to do a meet right, and greet. Right. Um, and anyone else in the household uh, will need to come and meet the dog as well. We want to make sure everybody in the house is on board uh, with having a new pet in the house okay. and, um, Great. and Great that it idea. works for the whole family. Yeah. And he's a Chihuahua mix? Yeah, it looks like a Chihuahua mix. He's really got the cool-looking brindle coloration, yeah. but uh, he definitely got some Chihuahua. Say hi. Won't get much bigger, probably. I or? think he may get a little fill out a little bit and yeah. fit into his long legs, but that's about it. Okay, yeah. great. Great. Um, and Dr. Fox, this time of year, it's so warm outside. It is so hot. What are some of the um, the risks, you know, that the pets face in this summer heat? Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of them are not used to being outside, um, you know, in, in the heat as, as we're not as well. Um, so heat stroke is a, is a big concern uh, among the dogs. Um, people think of the obvious of leaving them in the cars, or some people forget about the obvious of leaving them in the cars, but that's a, that's a no-no. Uh, if you you know, if the car needs to be running, the air conditioner needs to be on, you cannot leave them in the car for even five minutes, um, you know, without a problem. So um, that's the obvious thing. But also, right. if you're going to go to the beach or the park or anything like that, there's some risks there. And what people don't think about is when you are, um, you know, the little the kid is skateboarding with their new dog down the road and right. it's down by the blacktop, kids don't seem to feel the heat like uh, like the dogs do. And right. it's a lot hotter, closer to the ground. So Absolutely. we see a lot of heat stroke from that as well. Absolutely. So plenty of water, plenty of shade, and keep them off of the blacktop. Plus they'll burn their pads mm. and things like that. Right. So and they can't, a lot of problems. they can't always tell you, hey, they it's so hot out here. <laughs> and heat stroke is a very devastating disease mm -hmm. and um, not all dogs can be saved from it. What are the, I guess, how do you know if your animal is suffering from heat stroke? Um, well, I mean, the excessive panting, the salivating, um, they get become extremely, extremely lethargic. Um, sometimes they'll actually even start to hemorrhage in the skin, um, oh turn really pink. Um, they try to drink water, they'll vomit. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. And then their, their mechanism for controlling their heat gets completely out of whack. So as soon as you try to cool them off, then they get too cool. So it's, it's you know, you need to, first thing that you need to do is definitely cool them off you know, wet their skin down, um, things like that, and then bring them into the air conditioner and call your vet. And even if, if someone leaves for work in the morning and perhaps the dog usually stays out in the yard all day, that's also not a good idea, even if there's shade out there. Um, you know, it's not a good idea. I mean, some of the dogs that are more accustomed to it are okay. If they are forced to leave the dog outside, plenty of shade, plenty of water. Um, the darker dogs, do much worse because in the sun they absorb more heat. So, you know, make sure that your dog is ready for it. Even in a garage all day, it's just it's too much. Too much. I, it actually, uh, it's a good point that you raise, uh, Jenny, because I believe that the Port St. Lucie Animal Control d uh, Department has an ordinance against leaving animals outside like that all day in this heat. It, even with water and what, what a family may think is proper shelter, because right. it just is not safe no, in this kind of 
the heat. Right, right. Okay. Well, good information. I mean, we've got a we've got a long hot summer ahead of us. So thank mm -hmm. you very much for bringing that to everyone's Not attention. No problem. And Rita, one more time, if you could, how mm -hmm. do how does someone find out more information about Tiger? Well, if here? they want more information about Tiger, they can either check our website at um, hsslc.org. Okay. His picture will be up there. Okay. Actually, we have three pictures, I think, up there of Tiger okay. and most of our other animals as well. Um, they can call us at 461-0687, or as I said earlier, the best thing is to just come up in person and meet him in person right. and uh, fall in love with him okay. just like we have Great. done today. He's very sweet. <laughs> he likes you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he deserves a All good right. home. He yeah. didn't. Have, he's only three months old, but he had a rough start in life yeah. already. He's doing great now, and despite his rough start, he yeah. is a sweetheart. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, Thanks Dr. Leonard Fox and Rita Hart. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again. Thank you, Jenny. Take care. Okay. We'll be right back after this message.